Now taking a look at a team who is absolutely on fire this year, and I don't think anybody expected it, at least anybody outside of uh, Oak Glen. As we're visited Oak Glen. In Oak Carolina, the Red Riders entered winners of six straight in the series. The last two by a combined score of 101 to 14. Six years, Weir High has won the Carl Hamill Trophy. Oak Glen trying to say something about it at the Bears' Just den tonight. Was into the game. The Bears strike first. Hand off to Hunter Patterson, and Patterson puts Oak Glen on the board, 7-0. Nick Cheney now commanding the offense well. Now in the second quarter on the keeper, he gets the Bears inside the one, and Cheney caps off the drive. Two the Golden Bear defense, well, looking strong here. Weird quarterback Anthony DeMattis gets zapped in the backfield. And how about line. Hunter Patterson tonight breaking off another big yard, big run. This time it's a 50 yarder. He has As he pounds Weir's defenders so. all the way down to the four yard line. And the Golden Bears go on to stun Weir High tonight. Because it's not just the boys behind me who are involved in that game and that victory. It's all of you guys. The school, the fans. They defeated their rival Weir High 34 to 14 taking home the Carl R. Hamill Trophy for the first time in seven Senior years. Michael Lemley. Now, Michael, how was that atmosphere on the field on Friday night? It was great. We got a lot of people believing in us this year. Our week one high school football team of the week is going to Oak Glen. Congratulations, you guys. <laughs> Oak Glen, well, they are off to a great start. How about the Golden Bears? Go deep. Now, great catch. Good battle for the football. Oak Glen comes up, Nick Cheney to Hunter Patterson with the pass. Patterson rush for TD as well here. We go to the scoreboard to take a look at it. The final score, Oak Glen. He's having a sweet season so far. Makes some moves and finds the end zone for a 33 yard touchdown. It's nine to six, Oak Glen. Later in the second, Hunter Patterson at it again in the Wildcat. Hands off to Gage Patterson. Breaks away for a 60 yard touchdown. And Nick Cheney would find Gage Patterson and Patterson stays in bounds, making a man miss before finding the end zone. How about people, Oak Glen fans, enjoying this season of football? Oak Glen already off to its best start since 1970, trying to stay unbeaten against Pittsburgh Perry. Paxton Schumann gets the ball, fights for a 13-yard touchdown, and then Perry drops back. Lemley finds the ball for the interception. That leads to a Hunter Patterson. He's around the court. He's got blockers. You're just not going to stop him. That run game just about unstoppable. Then more ground and pound for Oak Glen. We go to the scoreboard to take a look at the final. Oak Glen, they keep winning. New East Liverpool hosting unbeaten Oak Glen. Oak Glen off to the best start in history. Edge Patterson back to punt, but it's a fake and he gets the first down and that leads to Paxton Schumann capping things off. But here come the Bears again. Check out Paxton Schumann barreling his way into the end zone to call it even. It's at 14 all and Schumann once again gets the call and he wins it for the Bears. Let's take a look at the final 21 to 14. The Bears. And Paxton Schumann gets the scoring started for the Golden Bears. And then Nick Cheney going to dump the ball off here to Gage Patterson. And Patterson, well, he'll do the rest. Weaving his way through the defense for a Golden Bear touchdown. It's 14 0. More from the Golden Bears. Second quarter, Cheney to Hunter Patterson. Wide open in the end zone. It's 21 0. And then Hunter Patterson takes the snap, gets some good blocking. He works his way through in for a score 28 0. After an Edison field goal, Cheney downfield. Zach Taylor missed a 60 yard touchdown pass play. It's 35 to 3. And how about some defense from the Bears? Michael Lemley picks off the pass. He's headed the other way. 52 yards for the touchdown. 42 3 at that point. Golden Bears still unbeaten. They win it 52 3.
Coach, are you surprised by this domination that the Oakland Golden Bears are showing so far this season? Uh, not really. Apparently, the players have developed team unity and brotherhood necessary to succeed such as they did. I mean, that's phenomenal. Three years ago, they're coming off a two and eight last year, five and five, and now they're number 16 in West Virginia double A for a reason. Like the snowball moving down a snow covered hill, the Golden Bears are getting stronger game in and game out. Oh my God, Michael! Michael! <laughs> Week seven, this is already your final regular season. We talked about it off air, regular season home game at least. It, has it flown by? It still seems like yesterday that he was a freshman. You know what I mean? Now we're sitting here, <laughs> it's our last home game. Yeah, it's flown by. And um, and that's the kind of the message I've been trying to push to them is appreciate every minute because you know you don't appreciate some things until they're gone. So I want to make sure these, the senior class really appreciates how far they've come, what they've accomplished, and that the younger classmen see that and, and emulate that going forward. And it can be something they take with them as their legacy.